hi it's Kristen welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to share with you how to make a DIY face mask with filter pocket for healthcare workers I'm sure you've heard that there is a shortage of personal protective equipment for workers and nurses and doctors in the hospitals. I have a friend who is an ICU nurse and their particular hospital is short on them. She's saying that they're having to reuse the masks and um, give them back in. They're the disposable masks, they're having to return them so they can be sanitized and then someone else can use them. And she was able to speak with her supervisor and passed on to me some of the guidelines and things that if I was gonna make masks for them, what they would need to look like. And so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. This is the type of mask that has the pleats in it so it fits over the face and covers, as well as the pocket to put a filter inside of it. So inside of the mask, it is made with a pocket. It's super simple. Don't let the pocket thing scare you. It, it actually kind of makes it easier to make this mask in my opinion. As part of the guidelines, at least for this particular hospital, the masks do need to have a pocket so they can fit a filter inside of it. This would work great with like a quarter inch or even an eighth inch elastic, but because it's sold out everywhere, I decided to make them with this stretchy nylon material. So this is often used in making kids headbands. You may have seen them or like baby headbands. They're super, super stretchy and they pretty much never lose their elastic elasticity in my um, experience. Something else that I love about the nylon is it's really, really soft and more comfortable than the elastic. It's also very easy to tie, so it's very adjustable. Um, if someone needs to have a tighter fit or they have a smaller face, whatever, they can just tie it and it makes for just a more snug fit. I do want to point out that it's important to check with your local hospital and see if they're even accepting these masks before you start making them and also find out if there are any uh, particular guidelines or criteria that the masks need to meet before you start making them as well. All right, let's get right into making the mask. So to begin, you'll need cotton fabric, a needle and thread, scissors, you'll need a sewing machine, you'll need an iron, nylon, or elastic. We're gonna start by cutting a large rectangle out of our fabric. We're going to do 15 inches long by eight and a half inches wide. I'm gonna just run the iron over it just to make sure all the wrinkles are out of it. And then we're gonna fold it in half with the opening at the top and we are going to make our little spot for our pocket. So by folding it here, then we're just gonna place some pins on either side of an opening in the middle. The opening I measured just about um, three fingers width. Um, it's just kind of a guesstimate, it doesn't need to be exact, but you want a good amount to be able to fit a filter in there. Next, we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and sew on either side of where those pins are. When you get to the pin, you're gonna to want to stop, pull the pin out, and then back stitch just to reinforce that pocket. And then we're going to take it off, flip it around, and do the same thing on the other side all the way to the pin. All right, now we are going to move the little hole for the pocket to the center of our mask now. So we don't want it at the top, we want it to be on the inside here. And then I'm just going to pull open the seam and I'm gonna use my iron just to press it flat so it just looks a little bit neater. All right, we need six inches of the nylon material. If you're using an elastic, I would recommend seven inches. The nylon material is a lot stretchier than elastic is, so that's why I'm going shorter with this one. You're gonna need your needle and thread for this, and so it's time to put the elastic on the edges of our mask. So what I'm gonna do here is just stick the edge of this stretchy nylon elastic up in the very corner of the mask 
And then I'm gonna use my needle and thread to just do a few simple stitches back and forth just to hold it in place. We are going to do a stitch on our sewing machine down the sides of the mask, but I found that it's much easier to go ahead and stitch this in place just with a few stitches so that way when it's time to go over to the sewing machine, it just makes it a lot easier to keep everything in place. Once I'm done stitching the nylon or the elastic up in the corner, I like to just check it and make sure I didn't miss any spots, make sure I have a nice and secure like stitches right across the top there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the bottom one and we are gonna do this on all four sides. Just make sure when you're doing this that the nylon or the elastic doesn't twist from the top to the bottom. Just make sure it is all facing the same way. So now all four corners have the little nylon pieces kind of stitched into them and now we're just going to tuck the nylon piece inside of the mask like so and then we're going to run a straight stitch right down the edge. After you've used your sewing machine to get the straight stitches down the sides, it's now time to turn our mask inside out and then we're going to create the pleats on the mask. For the pleats, you want to make three lines equal widths apart going across the mask and you'll want to center your pleats using those lines. Get your iron ready because we're going to use that to hold the pleats in place until we sew them on the sewing machine. Once your pleats are folded and pressed and everything looks even, it's time to run a stitch right down either side of the mask. I wanted to remind you that even if you can't sew, maybe you know someone who can, and if so, maybe share this video with them. There's a share button down below. You can send it via text message, email, you could share it on your Facebook page or Instagram. These masks would also be great for at-home use if you, your child, or someone in your family is sick. So there you have it. Now you know how to make a pleated mask with a filter pocket on the inside.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up down below. It helps me reach more people. More people see this video and helps me to know that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. And I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe for more videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.